I'm Paweł Spychalski and what if I told you that the small and cool 4-inch Explorer type FPV drones can be well, even smaller and even cooler. What I have over here today is the Farin's Frame Baby Frog. If you see something different when looking at this frame, then yes, you are right. Because this frame not only is small, designed for 4-inch propellers, it's also foldable. Today, let's take a look at the Baby Frog. Let's see how it's built how it's flying and let's see if this is the best thing since the sliced bread. This is the baby frog. You might say this is a standard 4 inch explorer type of the drone and to some extent you are 100% correct. Top plate, bottom plate, Cadix Vista in the back, by the way you can have it in the digital FPV with the Cadix Vista or with analog VTX. All-in-one flight controller, I got mine with the H743 board integrated with the four ESCs, which is super cool because look how little the, all the flight parts are taking inside of it. The camera in the front and GPS in the back. However, the difference is in the details, because the detail number one is that the GPS unit. This is not a super cheap BN180, this is a good quality Matek M8Q5883. You will get and you will hold the GPS fix with this thing. Camera mount is a nicely printed TPU part, so camera will not break when you will hit something. Motors are decent sized brother hobby for 1404 and like I mentioned in the beginning the quad actually holds when you move the arms it falls like that like that and like that this is a tiny package that is super easy to transport because even the Cadix Vista antenna folds nicely to the inside and when you are ready to fly just unfold the front arms unfold the rear arms, antenna, install the LiPo over here and you are ready to start flying. A short info on the folding arms and how they are built. They are pivoting on the single screw and there is a small hook over here, over here that hooks over the second screw. And that unfortunately means that only thing that holds the arm in place is actually the friction between the carbon. And if you don't want this thing to be folding without your action, you should keep those screws tight and nice. If not, there is a chance that it will just collapse in flight. However, when the screws are properly tightened, it actually requires quite a lot of force with the fillable detent to move the arms and this should be enough in flight to keep them securely in place. And now the most important thing, does it fly? And the short answer is yes, it flies well. My baby frog came flashed with the Betaflight 4.2. I, however, installed the Betaflight 4.3 before taking it into the air. And after spending some time in the air with this thing, I do have to say that yes, I like it. Bear in mind, it is not racing or freestyle quad. It's not built as one, so we cannot truly really expect that it will behave as a racing or a freestyle quad. Yes, you can do rolls, flips and power loops with this thing. However, the main purpose of the baby frog is to go somewhere slightly further than you would go with your racing or a freestyle machine. And because it's equipped with the good GPS module, not the cheapest scrap out there, but the really good matte M8Q, it has the reliable GPS capabilities. It should get fixed no problem, it should hold the fix no problem, and when you will be slightly further away and there will be some kind of the trouble, you have a pretty good chance that the GPS rescue will work just like expected. Huge kudos for the Farin's frames for putting a good and reliable GPS module on this thing. However, there are two things you have to remember when using the Farin's frame base. Baby frog. The first thing is that it is a foldable frame. That means if you crush this thing, there is a pretty good chance that the arms will fold and the spinning motors and the propeller can start hitting the wires and the battery. And I think number two is that Farin's frames was that close from making this thing an ultimate long-range 
4-inch Explorer drone. Why? Because although they installed one of the best GPS modules out there, they kinda forgot to wire I2C for the magnetometer. If they would do that and also install the flight controller that is supported by iNav, that would be really the ultimate 4-inch Explorer type of the drone. Without that, it's only very good, not perfect. Overall verdict, I like it. Good components, flies great, and when folded, it really takes extremely little space. It will no problem fit any backpack, and also you might have a chance to fit it inside of the regular bag. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe. And happy flying!